Hey, this is Don Archer from the Tow Channel. Today we're going to go over the proper use of a snatch block after you've rolled over a vehicle in hooking it up so that you can pull it around and get it loaded up as quickly as possible. What I'm going to use here now is a snatch block. And a recovery chain. Now that I've got the car flipped over, I want to spin the car close to the back of the truck. It'll be easy to load up. So, I'm going to hook this up back of the truck here, which is a very stable point. The cable is going to come directly from here down straight out to the car. Always make sure it's in there snug where it'll stop with our winch wheel. We got the emergency brake on the car. Hopefully the brake works. To get the front end to kind of spin around here. at a perfect angle but we can still pick it up right where it sits all we need to do is maneuver our truck just a little bit back up to it lift it up and go and you don't want to suck any of this into here it'll be just as bad as if you was to suck the end of the cable up into here you will break it once this looks like it's going to touch the plastic we release our cable we pull the truck forward more and then we begin winching again or we plant this in a lower spot some trucks will have a D-ring mounted right here on the wheel lift. To hook onto here, now our cable goes down here and we're at a lower angle. But also always remember that when you're winching off of the wheel lift, all these components down here is a lot of stress on all that. So we don't want to winch anything very hard trying to force the wheel lift to come up. Not any two rollovers are going to be the same. They're not going to come over the same either. So always keep that in mind. You're the one that's in charge for getting it rolled over. It's your responsibility. Take your time, but yet be efficient. There's a hundred other uses for a snatch block. This one will get you out of an accident scene as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.